Hey, soul survivors, I'm Cynthia Schiller. We're going to talk about black and white thinking. The narcissist often will shut down and see things certain ways. Also, some of us, after we've just kind of had it, uh, we don't want to talk to this person anymore. And what causes black and white thinking? Does that limit us? And it's also known as polarized thinking, which is also like all or nothing. Um, you can also call it dichotomous thinking. And it refers to this habit that people have where they're thinking in polar opposites and they don't want to accept any type of possibility that there's any gray area within the subject. And we all think differently, but there are some similarities. So when you go through black and white thinking, it's sometimes a symptom of a personality disorder such as narcissism. It can also be um, a symptom of borderline personality disorder, even eating disorders, depression, anxiety. And so since we're going through some depression or anxiety when we've been dealing with a narcissist, it's pretty important to look for the signs, whether we are doing this now or um, if we see that in our narcissist. So this thinking is extremely rigid and it's actually unrealistic at times that um, people start to have these severe cognitive distortions and they have a hard time communicating with society. They might become uh, undiagnosed or treated and treatment can be very effective with this. So it's something you might wanna consider if you're kind of struggling with black and white thinking. So if you are constantly thinking in absolutes, it might be affecting you and it might be something to think about changing. So it's just such a rigid mindset. It doesn't allow somebody the latitude to see different nuances in their situation or even within their life in general. And that can start affecting uh, you socially and lead to frustrations. And looking at the gray areas, the middle ground, um, it's, it's kind of like with empathy, you can feel or see what the other person is under um, trying to convey to you. So it tends to follow uh, certain rules to the letter. And um, if you are using certain phrases such as always or never, you know, you never call me or you always forget this, that it's taking it's taking away uh, credit that might be due to someone and that can kind of put them off uh, in a defense mode to you. Um, so if you use like, it's perfect, uh, it, you know, what you did was terrible as opposed to, you know, a, a little bit softer wording. So of course, everybody says these sometimes, but if you are frequently using these, um, be careful because it does, affect people. And that's part of the reason with our narcissist that it can be quite frustrating. Sorry, it's Valentine's Day today. <laughs> Everybody's blowing the phone up. Um, but it is a learned habit and it can be in, uh, influenced, increased with mental health conditions, traumas, other type of factors. So sometimes it's permanent. Sometimes it's, um, you know, if the narcissist or whoever doesn't want to change or address it, but if you're careful about the way you speak or you stop, you know, you never, uh, I mean, there's often been times, it's just a different way of wording things that can make or break relationships sometimes. And it is a coping technique. It's unhealthy though. And when it becomes a habit and without awareness of these distortions, um, you know, we might feel that sometimes we're in a, a, a automation of these thoughts and, and the way that we're speaking. So dichotomous thinking, these black and white thinking um, is contributed often to depressive disorders, anxiety, and people aren't always aware of this distorted thinking. Uh, like I said, it can deal with different mental illnesses too. So within our upbringing, we have a lot of experiences. Uh, we go through different kinds of relationships that affect us and it kind of molds our personality as we're growing and it can become ingrained.
but we don't want to keep it there if it's going to affect negatively because we can uh, limit ourselves so we don't see the black and white thinking. And I, I kind of see a little change in society coming where, you know, somebody does one thing wrong, you get rid of them, um, that people are going to see it, uh, you know, the no contact, the, um, you know, break up with them if they said something um, to where we didn't hopefully take the time to understand exactly what they're saying. So com communication is what makes or breaks relationships. And it's not just talking, it's understanding. And with the lack of empathy that the narcissist has, it's really hard for them to understand where we're coming from. So that's why they like to shut down or go silent. And sometimes compromise is very difficult uh, when you have somebody with this type of thinking. And you know, there's just no leeway. It's my way or the highway. And it can cause anger, uh, anxiety, depression, and just an unhealthy feeling within somebody dealing with this. So, you know, uh, people, people, it can affect their success. This, this is the worst job I've ever had or the best job. Um, if it really is, you know, uh, because there's pros and cons to everything. And sometimes one thing goes wrong and they go into that black and white thinking. So when we're not mentally at our optimal capacity, it can be extremely challenging to live our lives to the fullest and enjoy the things that we're passionate about. So by having these um, dichotomous thinking, it limits people. And the research thinks that black and white thinking is a, a part of perfectionism, which is based on a fear of failure. And that can cause a lot of emotional distress. That's why our narcissists, uh, the, especially the grandiose, they want to be perfect in, in other people's eyes. And some people can't cope. Uh, they, they will give up really easy if things aren't perfect, because part of it is your words become your actions and they expect to be perfect. And if it doesn't go right, then they have a lot of anxiety starting to build up. So how do we break out of this? How do we change it? So there are some things you can do. Sometimes therapy helps, but if you can catch yourself doing these things and, um, you know, work on things, uh, whether it's by yourself or with a mental health professional that, It'll help with your day-to-day -day functioning. There is types of therapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy, and that can help us to learn to question our automated thoughts by taking the time to recognize that not all of our thoughts are true. Sometimes we're assuming things um, or not having the full story, and we have to understand the root of certain thinkings. So we can work through these types of distortions we might have, or the narcissist might have at first it's challenging, but what's cool about the brain is you can actually train to think differently, um, train your brain. So over time, um, you're gonna have an, a, a new way of thinking and that's going to start to become your norm. So it's, something you can work on on your own if you still struggle with it or need uh, different techniques, but uh, kind of have it at the forefront of your mind. Uh, do I say those things? Do I always say uh, you never, you know, do the dishes or I always um, do the laundry and that's not necessarily true. So healthy relationships have a need for healthy communication and we can do our part to realize if we're doing black and white thinking. Um, and the narcissist, um, based on their upbringing, things like that, that they have black and white thinking, that they can cut somebody off 
um, during that discard phase. You know, if it's not the perfect relationship, they'll, they'll bail a lot of times. And, you know, if we're not serving their needs perfectly, um, it can be quite hurtful um, to where they don't appreciate the good. It, uh, they just want the perfect. So I hope that was helpful. And I hope to see you guys in the live chats. Topic requests are always welcome. And I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe, share if it'll help somebody that you know, and I'll see you soon. Have a good night.